Hey, look, it's Monday, <laughs> my favorite day. <laughs> I'm so excited to work. Over the weekend, industry sources leaked the specifications for AMD's upcoming Polaris GPUs, but let's get it out there right now that these are not confirmed and are pretty sketchy. Anyways, the sources revealed specs that are a little lower than we were expecting, with Polaris 10 having 2048 stream processors and Polaris 11 having only 896. Video cards pointed out, however, that they were given the same numbers, but told that they're for the mobile variant, so we could expect higher numbers for the desktop version. Or completely different numbers. This is unofficial leaked info after all. Now something that AMD did officially release was specs for their M400 mobile GPUs, which are all rebrands of the M300 series with some tweaking of the naming scheme and positioning. So there, it's not super impressive, but at least we know it's real. Earlier this year, we reported on Payday developer Starbreeze Studios and their plans to not only make their own VR headset, but also launch VR arcade facilities. Now they've announced a partnership with Acer to manufacture the headset, which they've dubbed Star VR. The prototype Starbreeze showed off at E3 2015 last year was indeed impressive, with 5120 by 1440 displays and a 210 degree horizontal, 130 degree vertical field of view, a higher resolution and wider FOV than both the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. The company's first Starcade is slated to open in Los Angeles sometime in the next few months, so hopefully we get a glimpse of the real thing soon. And suddenly, three became four. A new game console has entered the market, but it's not from the usual suspects. Tencent, the giant Chinese company who owns WeChat and League of Legends, has announced the Blade Box, the first console in the company's TGP line, which stands for Tencent Games Platform. The console runs Windows 10 and can be used like a regular PC, but it can also be used in TGP Box mode, which sort of looks and acts like Steam's big picture mode. Tencent reportedly developed and designed the box, while hardware company Hire built the hardware, and Intel supplied Skylake processors and other unspecified tech. We're not sure whether this will come to the West yet, but the real question is, do we want it to? I mean, it's basically a Steam machine without Steam OS, so we kind of got that covered. Oh, you know what time it is. Quick bits. Oh, good for you! I was waiting for someone to find that Easter egg. I convinced Lord Gaben to put that in, but it was very well hidden. Thanks for your submission. Send us a clip of yourself, the rest of you, saying quick bits to get featured on Netlinked. Tweaktown claims they've got inside info saying that Nintendo's upcoming NX console will run on a Pascal-based NVIDIA Tegra chip rather than a traditional AMD one. <gasps> Scandal! But again, rumor, so... Salt. ESL, the world's largest esports network, has announced the creation of the World Esports Association, a governing body that aims to hold the esports industry to a code of conduct, which, if all the news about match fixing and hacking and baby punching are to be believed, is much needed. Baby punching? Hmm? A new Kickstarter project called Neura Headphones uses a combination of in-ear and over-ear designs to customize audio EQ to fit your unique inner ear structure. This means music will sound amazing to you and potentially horrible to everyone else. Scientists at Trinity College in Dublin have discovered a new form of light predicted by physicists but never actually observed until now. It will apparently help make fiber optic data transmission more secure. Well, that's... Less exciting than it first sounded. And LG is following Sony's lead and spinning off its tech side projects into crowdfunded startups, starting with electronic framed wall art. I do feel like if we're at the point where big companies like LG and Sony are crowdfunding, it's time to ask if we're going in the right direction here, guys. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. What's the deal with carbon nanotube transistors? I was kinda... Not really doing the real Seinfeld there, but more doing the Conan O'Brien parody of the Seinfeld casting process from when he like had his early show. Comment below if you know the reference. It was, what's the deal with corn nuts?
Google it. Guys, we here at NCIX Tech Tips really appreciate all of you who watch our videos regularly and are subscribed to the channel. So if you didn't know, we give away a new prize every month to a random subscriber. We call it Fans with Benefits because it sounds funny. Last month's prize was two Zalman Z9 Neo cases and this month's prize is two, I don't have them. Two ducky secret gaming mice. So what do you have to do to enter? Very simple, subscribe obviously and leave a comment on any video published in May. That's it. We announce the winners on the first episode of the next month. So this month that'll be Wednesday, June 1st. So leave a comment on this or any video from May and good luck, fair fans. It's backwards. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to leave the set because this video is over. There's not really anything left for me to say, so it doesn't make any sense that I would just stand here like an idiot. <laughs>